Arch, how did you go last night? How do you feel? And you know, it's a good hit out. Yeah, it was. Um, obviously, back in the Socceroos squad was uh, something special. I mean, I've been working hard all year, and uh, to get get the opportunity was great, and be around the lads again, and obviously be part of a, a winning team, and the, uh, the way we played, and the way we came back. And you know, and, and to come here again and, and with the boys and, and training again, a little bit sore, but you know, it's a good sore. Uh, that little three or four minute burst was quite incredible last night. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was just buzzing. I mean, that five minutes seemed to be a blur, but the atmosphere and, and the way we scored the goals and the way we, we you know, we, we grinded out the result was, uh, was fantastic. You mentioned your body. Um, how are you sort of feeling? And, and do you go a little bit lighter on the track now? or what, how do you... <laughs> Well, I mean, after last night, uh, my gramps could have done better out there today. But uh, look, I mean, I'm, I'm still on a high from last night. So, come, I mean, they said to me this morning, you pro- Archie probably should you know, just take it easy. But I wanted to get back out there because, like I said, I, the adrenaline still pumped from last night. Um, just looking ahead to this weekend, mate, uh, I guess now it gets serious again. Um, it's a serious time of the season. It is. I mean, uh, these next four games are must win and we've, st- we've still got to rely on results. But... I think if, if we win the next four and, and, and see what happens, I mean, the football is starting to play is great and um, hopefully we can get Harry and, and Millsy, uh, they played full games on last night, so hopefully we can get them right for Saturday and um, like I said, I'm confident we can put on a good performance and, and obviously win these next four and see what happens from there. Do you know had the most uh, representatives of any A-League club in the Socceroos last night? What does that say about this year's performance? You're sitting eighth. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, that's a good question. Um, look, I mean, he's seen, uh, he likes what he's seen, I think, from me, uh, Harry and uh, Millsy. We would would like to be up further on that ladder, but look, I mean, there's still four games left. We need to win them, but anything's possible. Just, uh, do you get sick of us talking about do or die? <laughs> well, um, I think, I think us players are, you know, we, we're disappointed we've got ourselves in this situation. I mean, all year we've been saying on paper we've got one of the strongest teams in the league and, and the performances haven't warranted that. But um, we're, we've just got our own, fate in our own fate in our own hands and we've just got to go out there and, and win. And that's what uh, basically comes down to. I hate to talk cliches, but it's a real six-point game, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, look, I said, like I said, we've got to win all four games. Results have got to go away. I think the, the positive things we can take out of it is that we've got, we play the teams that are just above us. Um, and hopefully all goes well. I mean, it's, we've still got to travel to Perth. We don't do very well in the last match, but still, Newcastle got to play Sydney. So, I mean, there's all little scenarios that can happen. If we, like I said, if we just go out there and do what we can, uh, win games, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, mate, uh, you had three teammates in the Socceroos last night, and uh, I guess it's probably been the cliche line of the season, but does that sort of underline maybe how disappointing or missed opportunity this season's been so far? Yeah, without a doubt, it's a perfect line for it. It's been a season of missed opportunity. Um, we've been in plenty of games for, for a long period of time and we just make a silly mistake here and there or, or don't finish our chances as was on the weekend and we get punished for it and, and, and we draw a lot of games where, where we should have won. Do you seriously feel as though you can salvage it? Sure, I'm, I'm sure if we win four games and a few results go away, we, we can sneak into the finals, but... We should never let it got um, this far gone in the first place and, and we've got no one to blame for it but ourselves. But in saying that, we'll be going out this week against Newcastle, play our hardest, do do what we've been trying to implement all season and, and try and get the three points and, and finish off the season strong. And if, if that means we make the six, it does. If not, then then we'll focus on next year. You're a bit of a tough session towards the end there, mate. Jim doesn't uh, let you go off lightly. Has has that been a difference compared to when Mehmet was in charge? Um, yeah, they're, they're different coaching styles and, yeah, um, the new gaffer, he, he's got high standards and, and it's what all the players want. He, um, he expects it of you every session and he could do 99 out of 100 right, but the one he'll pick on and he wants you to do it perfect every time. So that's the standards we're trying to set uh, at the football club and, and hopefully the latter part of this year and into the start of next season we, we can build on it. What's your take on his uh, 
sort of time in charge so far. Obviously, the results still haven't been really coming since he's taken over. Yeah, look, the results haven't been there, and I guess you only judge on results, but being in the inner sanctum and, and, and training and playing week in, week out, I, I know he's made a huge change and, and a big difference to this football club, and, and I hope he stays on and, and coaches us for, for more seasons to come because um, I like where, where he's headed and what direction he wants to put the football club in. Ah!